Hi, I'm Captain Dan with Marine Max. Uh, we're going to be doing some videos that hopefully will help you out whenever you're out there and some things go wrong or maybe just taking care of your regular everyday maintenance. Hey guys, welcome aboard. Here we are sitting in, around some QSM 11s with the 670 horsepower good old Cummings. Today we're going to talk about changing out uh, Raycor fuel filters. It's relatively easy. Um, just need a couple of rags, a bucket, have your filters with you, filter wrench, and always carry a good old jug of diesel with you for priming these systems back up. Today we're using a 10 micron 2040 Raycor and to find out what size Raycor you're going to need most of the time it's written right here on your replacement element. It's right here on the face. So that's all you got to do is work is, is go and look and see what you got. Uh, they also come with two little small gaskets and there's a red one in there in the middle and then there's a black one and I'll show you where these go. Uh, position your your bucket underneath the filter. Nice pliable bucket where you can kind of bend it around. This is going to be your valve where you straight up and down is going to be off. Now you've also got one that you can whichever which way the arrow is pointing is the filter you're using. Now if it's pointing down you're pulling off of both of them. Whenever you're pulling down you, and it's, and it's you, both of them are, are you're going through both filters. A lot of times I like to run on one because if I've picked up a load of fuel somewhere and uh, just say it's, it had some trash in it and I didn't know about it then I'm running off one I'm going to plug, plug one filter up and then I can always go to my second and run for a little while. Also you've got a vacuum gauge here and the vacuum gauge <clears throat> is you need to come down and look at it every once in a while when you're running. We call it taking a walk where you drop down in your engine room find out if everything's running real well whenever you run whenever you're underway. You start building vacuum you start building excessive back vacuum of what you normally see then it's probably time to change your your, your fuel filters getting ready to turn my filters off. Now I'm sitting with my filters off so my, my, my tank, uh, it, it, I'm not getting fuel from my tank. Uh, there's also some valves over there on top of your tank which you may have to secure if you're running a single system and not having the valving system here. So, here we go. I'm going to get the T-handle. Just unscrew the T-handle. You notice I got my bucket underneath the bottom there. There's that gasket we were talking about and I'll show you where it goes. Here's my filter. It's got little handles on it. Oh yeah. Ah, see the trash inside there? That's good. It's, it filter's doing its job. Picking it up. Let it drain a little bit. Straight to my bucket. No fuss, no muss. Now, Pull my other filter. I've already got my other filter out. Ready to go back in. Don't just go shoving it in there now. Take your time with it. It carried some fuel with it, but we're going to have to use our jug of diesel to fill it back up. Alright, I'm in. Now, you notice I told you about the little the little bag that's got the got the O-rings in it. Open it up. Here, here's your O-ring, your not O-ring, but your gasket. It's just gonna fit right inside there, rubber rubber seal. Okay. And here's my T-handle. Now you see that little red gasket right there, that little red O-ring. We want to change that out because that will cause a vacuum leak if it's split or out out of uh, or just been smashed too long. Got my good old pocket knife. Here she comes. It just rolls off there in the trash and then slip this one back on. Alright, the old jug of diesel. Let's get it where we can top it off here. Push down on it and put some in there. 
fill that baby up so she doesn't have a chance to suck any air. All right, there she is. Filled it up. Still got my bucket under there because whenever I screw this thing down, I'm liable to lose a little bit. Found my threads. Again, you don't have to be King Kong with this stuff. Just put it on tight. And that wasn't that hard, was it, guys? Now, open up my valve again, and I'm ready to start. Now, guys, down at the bottom of this thing, you'll see here, you've got a little trash in here right now. And if you wanted to rinse this out, there's a plug in the bottom of this. So you can undo the plug and have that bucket under there and pour you some fresh diesel through there, depending on how much, how big your... Uh, jug of diesel is. Now also if you pick up a bad load of fuel and all of a sudden you're picking up uh, water in your fuel you're going to be able to see it down in this down in this uh, bo uh, little uh, bowl here and of course you'd be able to just come up here with a flashlight and see if there's any, any water of course you know the water's going to be on bottom and you can pull the plug out drain that water and put it back in Alright guys, we changed our primaries out. Now here's your secondary. Now this is just as good old Wix filter and it's going to say fuel filter on it, but it's also an all water separator. Now if you've started picking up water in here, it's possibly likely you're going to start picking up some in here. And there are valves on the bottom of these. You unscrew them and you can drain these. But if it's getting plugged up bad enough, you're going to go ahead and change it out anyway. Now this is just like, like your old car filters oil filters, you know, you put it on there, lock it up, unscrew it, okay? You unscrew it with your bucket under it, don't forget your bucket or you end up with a shoe full of diesel, that's no fun. But then you're going to take your jug of diesel, fill this back up or fill your new filter back up and then just screw it right on. And, and again, it doesn't have to be on there to where it just won't come off. Put it on there where it's sufficiently not leaking. You have a, a, a rubber gasket sealed right here. So now you've changed your primary and your secondary, and you're ready to go to town. Crank her back up and get after it. On this gauge, the vacuum gauge, the ones who have the uh, single ray course as your primaries, there is an adapter, which we can get from Marine Max, that will eliminate the T-handle, but has a adapter here with a, with a, for the shank, if you will, and then a gauge on top, which will tell you how much vacuum you're pulling on this, on this system. Whatever gets exorbitant, uh, now I'm not going to say X mount right now, but you'll get to see where your boat's uh, carrying a certain amount of vacuum when you're running, and then if it starts creeping up, you're going to say, okay, it's time to change filters. But for what have we been here five minutes I've changed one filter so another one another five minutes and I could have my secondary knock out I'm on down the road on down the way I suggest you change your fuel filters about every hundred hours oil filters are different fuel filters about every hundred hours that way you can keep the trash out of your injectors and out of your out of your system hope this video was helpful and remember you too can do this <laughs>